Hey everyone, Big Man here. So, today is finally the day for the Amphibious Challenge be reviewed. Well, me reviewing all your vehicles, I guess. And so, this is going to be in three parts. Uh, so, the first part is going to be Amphibious Cars and stuff like that. The second part is going to be Miscellaneous and a couple that could be considered Amphibious Cars like these. But I just wanted to keep the numbers relatively even. And then the third video is going to be military-ish type vehicles and the final final winner so this video we've got seven next video we've got seven video after that we've got five we've got 19 submissions which is quite incredible so yeah this is this is incredible um so well done to everyone and let's start off with the first vehicle okay so firstly i will clarify that the wind will be on 50 percent to kind of simulate the the overall average over time between zero and a hundred percent obviously that's not fully showcasing the capabilities of 100 percent wind but you make do so this vehicle here is the x15 seal experimental it's an hello this is by shrabid shrabidium i apologize if i got your name wrong i think it's shrabidium so we got driver's seats very nice nice look big modular engine spear wheel yeah, that that looks that's a nice looking engine. Yeah, this is a this is a I, I really like the way this looks. It's quite it's quite half the ground, but it actually looks pretty cool. First person vi visibility isn't the greatest, but that's okay. Parking brakes, reverse, uh, battery ignition, experimental mode. I think I'll leave that. So just initial driving, it's pretty good good kind of responsiveness of the throttle as well which is good okay so um we've obviously got reverse that works really well uh we've got boating mode headlights hazard lights oh that's cool that's cool all right so let's let's hop in the water i'm guessing boating mode yet yeah, that just um puts the clutch onto the repellers let's hop in the water put our boating mode on and Wow, that's awesome. So we got two and a half k's to go. And I have to say, this is pretty good. I like this little... Almost reminds me of Fallout. Ah, this little LCD screen. The cabin is filling with water, but that's okay. You know, this is actually... This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Considering the seas, you know, it's not too choppy, but it's not flat either. This is actually coping pretty well. Yeah, I, I quite like this. I quite like this. Now, one thing I am slightly concerned about with this vehicle is getting onto the island, because not because of the fact that, I guess, ground clearance, because actually the ground clearance is great. Um, I'm concerned about the length of the nose, and I'm also concerned about the fact that you have to switch between propellers or wheels. There's no kind of mode where they're happening at the same time, which would be great for getting onto the island, but we'll manage. We'll manage. Yeah, this, this should be good. I think let's find the best side get onto the island uh it's been shoved around by the waves a little bit so i think we need to kind of get a bit of a bit of speed and oh there we go a little scratch on the front that's okay that was so incredibly easy i, I didn't think it was actually going to be that easy for this vehicle but i mean look at you guys proving me wrong time and time again uh, so let's let's hop out of that. That's an awesome vehicle. Uh, well done, Probidium. I hope I'm getting the name right. That's an awesome vehicle. It'll do really well. Yeah, I really like that. I like the color only, uh, color as well. Uh, so yeah, let's um, so uh, let's move on to the next vehicle. All right, so this next vehicle is the Damper Man by Richard Hammond. No, not the actual Richard Hammond. I don't think it could be. I don't think so though. It's probably just you know someone else. Um, who likes Top Gear, which I have to say I do as well. So this, uh, oh, I believe this is based off one of the episodes um, in Top Gear. Yes, it is. It is. Um, I don't know the exact episode. Come on, if you know the episode, let me know. Um, yeah, this looks really good. Oh, I, love I like like the interior. This is really cool. Okay, so you control you can control it from there. You can't do the engine, but you can control it from there. That's cool. Uh, but we're going to go inside though, because I want to stay dry. So we got miles per hour, fuel, we have negative fuel. Okay, let's go. This is very fast. And it just goes. 
Uh, it's, it's, it's quite unstable. Oh! What is it? What is it doing? Um, okay, this is going to be an interesting boat ride. So we're going to go kind of same place that we took the X-15. Slow down. Roll. We're just going to press our nose up. And we're going to hit boat mode and just... Did a little bit of a jump there. Awesome. I don't think this has brakes. We're going to plonk it on the rock and hope it sits there. Uh, because I didn't see any brakes anywhere. That's a really cool vehicle. That's a really cool vehicle. Um, I... Oh... Oh, ah, uh, yeah, I, I I really like it. Um, and it just went into the water. We'll see how far how far it's floated away when we get. Ah, uh, the, the lack of brakes is a bit of a problem because, well, that, you know, you got to think about. I guess the context of the challenge. The dude's gonna be working the lighthouse all day. Can't always watch his car. It's a really nice vehicle. I like it. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next vehicle we have is the Mud Skipper by Captain Cockerels. Um, so this guy, he does some really clever vehicles. Um, it's a really small one, which is nice. Um, and he's done a few videos on this on his own YouTube channel. Um, I will probably link that in the description. But from what I've seen, um, this works really well. I'm looking forward to using it. So, yeah, so apparently there's just a, a toggle button there the door and you can start stop and all we gotta get uh really fucking break that's what we gotta do and looks like our speed yep turning circle is really nice which is really small oh we got auto blinkers um this gets a little bit but it's good see the propellers going so we can just go into the water and um so we're just gonna speed up on the water it's very sta very stable. Very stable. Um, so this is like a hold throttle. Yeah, this is really good. It's a little bouncy, but it's good. It's really good. Awesome. Um, I guess I'll meet you guys when we get to the island. Yeah, I have to say, this is this is an incredibly stable little vehicle. Like, look at this. It just... It's incredibly... Look at that! It just takes everything like a little bump. Oh, and it's like, okay, but look at that, it just dealt with some water and it just keeps going. Like, that's actually really good. 150, 100, slow down. Oh, wow. It took one of the most difficult sides to get up and it just, well, oh no. Okay, it took that like a champ. Well... That is, that is incredible. I, I really like that. That was, I, I have to say, look, I think the X-15 looked a little bit better than this one, but this one is so far, by far the most capable and the most stable. It is just pure functionality and I love it. I really like this. Well done, Cap Captain Cockrells. This is an awesome vehicle. Let's get on to the next one. All right, next we have the Brut Schwimmwagen. Uh, this was done by Are You Game Nineteen. So, oh, it's got a nice auto canopy. Um, so this is quite cool. It's like a little, almost like a little flatbed truck. Um, two propellers at the back. It's like a big, big modular engine. Oh, it looks like it's maybe. Oh wait, no, that's just for cooling. That's clever. Very compact little engine. Um, in fact, it's got even width, which is cool. Yeah, so let's let's hop into here. So we've got the ignition, manual mode, blah, blah blah. Just turn that on. Okay. Okay, so that's a static engine throttle, or we could just use a WSAD. Oh, this is. That's cool. Nice, nice aggressive little engine there. I like it. Sounds really nice. 
Okay, so we're going to drive into the water. And you just go. Okay, um, well, I'm going to put the throttle up. There we go. Oh, and it's got a bit of a mind of its own, but that's okay. It is trying to correct itself. Um... Well, so far I have to say it's pretty, it's pretty aggressive, um, it's not that great at turning, but it's okay. Okay, so this thing does like to roll a little bit, and I'm not sure why, but I mean, it, it seems to do okay, um, although as I say that, it does that. Alright, now hopefully, this time it doesn't flip on our way to the island for the last 400 meters, because it's, it's already flipped itself about six times, I mean... We launched it 30 meters into the air somehow. But I mean, I assume that as the wheels are spinning, we can just... There we go. We can just get onto the island. Awesome. Okay, that's really good. And I just... Whoops. That's... That's really cool. I really like that. It's, it's quite unstable, which is obviously an issue. But otherwise, I think it's quite a cool creation. So, you know, well done, are you game 19? Well done. It's a cool little, cool little car. Uh, let's move on to the next thing. All right. So next we have the Dolphin Mud Skipper by Dead Dolphin Man. So this is the second, second Mud Skipper of the day. Um, it's just ramming itself into one of the other cars. But I like the look of this. It looks quite cool. Um, it reminds me of kind of like those lightweight um military kind of atvs which is quite cool but yeah so um it looks like it's a hatch in the top to get in yes and uh, so we just shut that pop in but battery two for fins jar of cooling etc it's called the rock skipper okay that's neutral oh, wait no that's forwards so it's drive or boat all right cool let's uh let's hop into the water Um, it's very shaky, in both engine RPS and physically shaky. I don't know what unit that speed is in, but looks like miles per hour. Um, gotta love Stormworks, everything's a submarine. Okay, we're back up. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a very healthy engine, but it works. Yeah, it's very fast. Wait, that's meters per second. That has to be meters. Per... Wow, we're doing a hundred k an hour on the on the water. That's incredible. Okay, so this is definitely the fastest, but it's also one. It's it's not that. It's kind of stable. It's just a bit difficult. But honestly, it's pretty. Once you once you got to use it, it's pretty good. Awesome. I really like that. I think that's really good. Um, doubles as a submarine as well, which is cool. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's really cool. I like that mud skipper as well. Uh, might be a little bit of a battle with the mud skippers. Um, yeah, that's that's really cool. Well done, well done, dead dolphin man. Let's move on to the last two for this video. Okay, so next we have the Vetrix Aqua. This is by uh, I don't know, um, and I believe someone else worked on it as well. So very very small seat very small car very small car in general it's got the propeller there this look uh, it reminds me of the kind of old 60s uh kind of style of cars which is cool 50s 60s so we got park car status blue water mode green land orange fuel level white car running it's a lot of information on one thing enginado problemo macho okay so that's if there's an engine problem speed 
kilometers in land, knots in water. Okay. Um, arc revs. So driving around, it's it's a good little car. Um, but if we go into water mode, there we go. We're in water mode. That is cool. That is very cool. Oh, that is less cool. Okay. So we're just going to learn to be a bit stable with it. Oh my. Oh my. I mean, at least it kind of writes itself. Kind of. Okay, um, I'm going to be honest. This is just not... It's not going to work. Because it's unfortunately... It's so unstable that I can't actually get anywhere without it tipping over. Like... Like, what is it doing? Okay, so this thing likes no wind, no waves. However, that's not life. So we're going to just go with the waves as much as we can. I have to say, in terms of actual performance, this vehicle is... It's disappointing. Because it looks like it's going to do really well. And it looks really good. But it doesn't actually perform that well. I mean, are we doing a decent speed? Yeah, sure. But that doesn't mean anything if you if it's taken me three times as long as the other vehicles to get here because I've rolled about ten times. And okay, now's the ultimate test. And it cannot kind of get onto the island. It can just get onto the island. I have to say, um, it's, it's cool as a car, and it's a cool idea, and I like, I like the look of it, but the functionality just, it just doesn't function well. I mean, like, if you look at, if you look at, like, this mudskipper here, um, even this mudskipper too, they were both really stable in the water, um, but Stability is a big thing, and that unfortunately spent half of its time underwater. Regardless, well done, I don't know, um, for the Vetro Aqua, and we'll move on to the last one for this video. And here we have the last vehicle for this episode, this is the BRV Hydro Le Fish, and by Kefli. So, um, this is a cute looking car, it's quite cute. I, li I like the way it looks, uh, a little spoiler in a bit, nice, nice rear. Anyway, um, so we are going to hop in the driver's seat, like the XML window. Uh, so we've got, I guess, it's a parking brake. This is a very nice cockpit. This is a very, very nice cockpit. Very nice car, actually. It's got padded seats, um, heater, interior lights, slides, eco mode, eco mode. Okay, so we can drive, and it's vibing. Looks like it's automatic, which is really cool. And we can put it into water mode. Okay, that works pretty well. That's actually very stable, which is nice. Uh, roof? No. Oh. oh, I love that. I love that so much. That's awesome. This is an awesome. This is awesome. Forms really well. It's really stable. It's not so fast that you can't control it it's you know we're doing 52k an hour on water that's actually pretty damn good i i really like this i really like this yeah this is really nice because it's it's keeping a state it, the engine runs well it's super smooth in water it's oh this is nice this is so nice it's even a convertible and it looks cool as well what what more could you ask for this this is a car that you could take and people would think it's a normal car, and then you just go on water with it. I, I love this. We're going to drive ourselves up. And we can just drive onto the island. Awesome. There we go. We've got a little car meet, I guess. Um, that's cool. In terms of looks and stuff, and just how it functions, that, that and that are probably my two favorites so far. But honestly, all these vehicles have done pretty well. Well done, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed this 
part one of three parts to the Amphibious Challenge, and I will see you in part two. Goodbye.